Hey, what's up guys, another video here. So today I wanna to talk about materialism and how you shouldn't be a slave to materialism. So if you need to obtain things to be happy, you have to rewire your brain to find happiness in other pursuits such as achieving goals and mastering your mindset for success. So for me personally, those two goals were to be elite in powerlifting and also for ultimate time freedom. So that involved obtaining millions of dollars for true financial freedom. So you notice these two things, they're not directly material. So the powerlifting goal, again, no one could buy me the time for training or the effort I put in training, the planning and so forth. So again, that was a non-tangible goal that I did eventually achieve after many years of training and going to competitions. So that in of itself is something that is non-tangible and again it gave me a lot of gratification and satisfaction to achieve those goals even though it was extremely hard and because of the fact that it was extremely hard it made it that much more satisfying and gratifying so the second thing for time freedom again i had to do lots of careful planning risk taking investing to obtain these millions of dollars so that also itself is not a tangible object that i'm trying to get so time freedom again that's relative to whatever your goal is it may be different if you're in another country where the cost of living is not as high but in my case i need to have this x amount of money to obtain time freedom and have enough automated income to live it goes hand in hand right so if you have if you're not a materialistic person and you don't need to acquire all these objects for just daily living then it's going to be in line with your goals of not being materialistic it's a double-edged sword to your benefit so number one you're not getting excessive things and number two you're obtaining a large amount of wealth so you ultimately have time freedom so having the success in sport and having the success in having ultimate time freedom those both are non-tangible things so finding happiness in material things is very fleeting and will be short-lived according to hedonic adaptation it has been observed that the tendency of humans is to quickly return to a relatively stable level of happiness despite major positive or negative events or life changes. So in my opinion, true happiness often is tied with time freedom and the ability to pursue things that you find happiness in or have passion in. Oftentimes this involves some use of resources, but it should not cause a significant drain of resources. So whatever your passion is, it may be hang gliding, playing soccer, bowling, or whatever activity, reading, investing, any type of hobby that you have that brings you a lot of happiness or joy, then that activity itself should not affect your ultimate time freedom. But again, if you are tied with so many things, let's say you want to have a large home, if you want to have you know, 10 cars or whatever, jewelry, watches, things like that, and you're constantly acquiring these materialistic things, then it's going to ultimately hurt you in the long run because many times these things don't appreciate in value and then in turn you'll be a slave to these objects. So you may be slave to the maintenance costs or the upkeep of these items. And again, it's just going to ultimately not make you happy because again, tying yourself to material things and tying your self-worth and self-esteem, your value to material things ultimately is not the best way to live. And that's gonna tie with my last point. But anyways, you'll hurt your financial future if you heavily pursue material things that will not appreciate in value. So most of you will have limited earning potential and these hard-earned dollars should not be taken lightly. They must be put to work instead of being flushed down the toilet to buy things you can't afford to impress people that you don't know. That goes in line with my advice of buying appreciating assets. Oftentimes these options Objects that tend to bring you fleeting happiness will oftentimes uh, depreciate in value. So when you're really young and you try to go after these objects that depreciate in value is going to ultimately hurt you because down the line you won't be able to obtain a greater value for them. So it's really important that you don't fall in the trap of trying to impress your neighbors, the Joneses, or whoever else that you're trying to one-up because ultimately it's gonna hurt yourself in the end. And you have to keep in mind that the people purchasing these objects, they themselves uh, may be in massive debt, so you don't know the true picture. So very few people tend to buy these objects in cash, so they have to finance them, and ultimately you know, they're hurting themselves, and you're hurting yourself trying to catch up with people that are incredibly indebted to these objects. So lastly, you cannot carry any of these material things when you pass. So it's best to obtain non-tangible assets that can continue to contribute to either descendants or causes that you believe in when the inevitable occurs. So naturally, when you have a purpose-driven life where you're accumulating assets and these assets grow in value, then ultimately they can be used for another purpose outside of yourself. So if you're just self-serving and you try to get assets that depreciate in value and you're a slave to materialism and you are a slave to these objects, ultimately, 
you're gonna be left with nothing or not much where you know it can't leave you a legacy of you trying to help others or trying to better society so you know it's really important that you learn not to be a slave to these objects and once you do free yourself from materialism your assets will grow tremendously and again these assets can be used in the future for other projects for the betterment of other people so it's not so self-serving that's the message I'm trying to come across here so you shouldn't be a slave to materialism do not identify your self-worth self-esteem your value to obtain certain objects because ultimately you'll be the slave of these objects and that's not the way you should be living life you should be living life to achieve goals that are personal and that can bring you success and ultimately use that success to benefit others after you pass so anyways thanks guys for listening to the video if you are interested in my book please check out the amazon link below it describes how i became a multi-millionaire at age 35 by only having a salary income of 40k to 81.5k from the ages of 22 to 35 goes over income expenses and more importantly besting so that's it guys and stay tuned for the next video